All water traffic passing through Chattanooga is at a halt for the next three weeks. The Chickamauga Lock is closed for repairs. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo is live to show us what all has to be done to the lock. Brianna? Kim Calvin, those repairs apparently are going to involve quite a bit. If you take a look down here, they've moved in the barge that carries a lot of the equipment needed for this repair, including this crane that'll be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. And back towards the back is where they found the problem, a crack in the steel part of that gate. And lawmakers say that this amps up their push to rebuild the lock. Water traffic floats to a halt, waiting today as the process to repair the old Chickamauga lock begins. We're going to have to get one of our major maintenance crews in here. We're going to have to remove the anchor bar to inspect the damaged area and try to determine a best course of repair moving forward. Lockmaster Matt Emmons says it will take several teams to do it. On Monday, inspectors for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers found the hairline crack in this 78-year-old section of steel. The uh, steel components are older and, you know, over time stresses occur and um, issues like this can arise. That's why some are pushing for the new lock just hundreds of feet away to get more funding. Congressman Chuck Fleischman explains where the state of both locks stands. Funding is in place for the current Chickamauga lock, which we've gotten done through the appropriations process so that the necessary repairs can be made now and in the future because it's going to be a while before the new lock is even complete, six to eight years if we had all the funding today. The project manager says they already spent $182 million on the new lock since the mid-2000s, but then funding stopped, so Congress reallocated money to fix those problems in the trust fund. That pool of money pays for several locks across the nation. This year, legislation passed that brings back money for those projects, and it freed up about $112 million. But the new Chickamauga lock is fourth on the priority list and not getting any of that money for now. It will be several years before boats will pass through the new lock, so officials say it's vital to keep the current old lock in working shape. And Congressman Fleischman says that another option is bumping up the funding for the new lock. That would be through increasing the marine diesel fuel tax, but that won't come up for a vote anytime soon. Again, these repairs are expected to last for three weeks. Reporting live at the Chickamauga Lock, Brianna Arredondo, News Channel 9. Three weeks, Brianna. What about the economic impact of that closing? Yeah, it has a potential, a large economic impact for the people who are going to be going through, who would be going through this in terms of water traffic, you know, business, revenue lost. Okay. Thanks, Brianna. Appreciate it.